Now we'll see how to define a custom function to create Spark data frames, Spark SQL tables, and Pandas data frame. In the last session, we have seen how to create these Spark data frames, SQL tables, and Pandas data frames from a CSV file and different file formats. So we'll define a custom function to create all these data frames and tables so that we can use that particular custom function uh, again and again to create different data frames. So we'll uh, head back to our uh, Databricks notebook. So this is our uh, cluster, which is up and running, right? So uh, we'll create uh, a custom function. So if you remember, like we have created uh, a CSV file within our file store, tables and the test folder and we have two folders here two files here in fact so what we do is we use this csv file to create our data frames right so i'll go here workspace and in this i would create a folder called airbnb because uh, that is what we'll be working on so this is a folder so within this folder, I'll create a file called utilities. Normally, any notebook, you know, which you work uh, in you know, data breaks or something, uh, the best practices are you always, pre, uh, you know, build your functions within a separate notebook. So I name it as utilities so that I save all these functions within this particular notebook. And I'll use this utilities notebook in different uh, other uh, Databricks notebooks to work it on it, right? So I'll create it. So this is my new notebook. Uh, my cluster is attached to this. And uh, just remember that I'm always attaching the uh, active cluster every time, right? So uh, like last session, we'll uh, see this path. You know, our file is stored in file store slash tables uh, I don't remember the folder name we'll see so uh, this is running so our CSV file is saved in the data uh, D uh, file system so this is the file uh, this is the path I would say so this and I guess we'll have two files here so I want this file right so I would copy this Okay, I'll create a file path variable and I'll paste it here, right? So I'll, I don't want this cell anymore. I'll delete it, right? And this variable is saved. Now, uh, we'll just start, you know, defining our Spark data frame. Spark dot read dot format. So this is a CSV file. So we would write as uh, CSV and option info schema is equals to true info schema and true i'll uh, write option header is equals to true and then load right so uh, this is just the basic uh, thing of uh, you know, i would loading uh, the things like i will write it as file path and then I'll display this spark df dot show or dot display function. So for the moment, we'll write it as show. And this is reading at the background. So we should get a spark data frame, right? So this is our spark data frame. Like if you could see uh, the spark data frames, whenever you use uh, this particular function called show, it is not clear. You know, uh, we could not understand which column refers to which data so what i would do is like instead of show here i would write as display spark df just for our understanding right so this is much better way of you know uh, visualizing our data set within the spark uh, platforms spark architecture right so instead of displaying it i'll uh, comment this out so I would write as print spark 
data frame is created right just for our understanding spark and type errors spark data frame is created okay so what we would do is we would convert this spark data frame into a sql table uh, or the pandas data frame so we would convert it as pandas df is equals to spark underscore df dot to pandas right i will run this again so the pandas data frame is also created just to check it up dot head so this is our pandas data frame right so we'll also create a sql table but before we uh, create a sql table i would like to show you something like uh, i'll delete this cell because i don't want it anymore i we remember like we have used dbutils dot fs dot ls and the file path right same example i wanted this file but my sql table name should be this right without uh, dot csv so what i would do is uh, i would this is just a list of uh, strings so i would pick uh, the first values so this is the first one right within this list i want uh, this index okay so i would write it as one just to see so i got uh, the file name but i don't want this dot csv i want to remove uh, this dot csv so that my sql table name itself is airbnb search results right so i would do a split function on the comma right i'll split this word from csv right and i'll check it up so it has created a list of uh, just a minute uh, so uh, instead of comma i would have uh, mentioned it as dot because i want to separate these two words with this right so i would check it up again so now we have two uh, words in a list form i want the first one right so this is my file name or the table name so what i would write is table name is equals to this thing and if i print it out table name i should get the same thing okay so now we have created a variable called table name and we have extracted our file name within the file path from the file path right so i would copy this and you know i would be i would paste it here and just for our understanding i will write it as uh, print here so that pandas data frame is created pandas data frame is created with pandas underscore df and here spark underscore df just for our information just to uh, check whether the function is running or not or if at all uh, any particular error is coming up so that we can easily identify it right so now we have a spark uh, table name so now what we will do is i will convert this spark data frame this part data frame into a sql table so if you remember in the last session we have converted this in uh, uh, to a sql table i would write it as mode for now we will write it as overwrite so this overwrite will help us to you know uh, delete the entire files and then replace with the new ones so that we don't have any issues uh, with uh, in terms of the data at least for this particular uh, videos right so i would write save it as table save and i would press tab so that it will give me a detailed uh, function i would write it as table name so what we have done here is like we have converted uh, we have extracted the table name from uh, the path you know and then we have used this table name to create our sql table so what i would do is print uh, i would write spark now spark sql table is created now uh, just excuse for the typo errors so i would write it as uh, 
the table name. So for the table name, I will use uh, this format, this and the table name. You know, this is the uh, table name which we are using it. So now what we have done is like we have converted, uh, we have created a Spark data frame, right? And we have created a pandas data frame and we have created a SQL table. So what I would do is like I would create a particular function. I would press a tab here and then I would write as define create table. You know, my this is my function and I will pass the file path into this, right? So this should work uh, just to check on the indentation part. Right, so we have created a Spark table, Spark data frame, I would say, Pandas data frame and the SQL table, right? So what we would do is like we would return uh, Spark DF and Pandas DF. <coughs> so this is our custom function, right? So we'll just check it out. I mean, this is our uh, file path. I would use this function to create the tables, right? So I would copy this and I would check whether the uh, function is really working or not, right? So if you could see, uh, it is giving a message called the Spark data frame is created and the Pandas data frame is created and it is slightly taking up a time for uh, you know converting it into SQL tables, right? So uh, in a minute, it should be done. It's running. I think, yes, it's done, right? So what we would do is like, I know we have created a function and everything, right? So instead of this file path here, I would take it out. Just, I will write a markdown value as uh, this is a utility utility function file function file so this is my uh, uh, utility function file and we have uh, created custom uh, function and we have checked it is working right done so now i would create another file here so instead of uh, utilities here i'll uh, I will uh, create a new notebook here. I will write it as Airbnb search details, search details, because this is our uh, CSV file name, right? I would create it. So this is again a new notebook which is created. So before we start anything in here, so what we would do is like, we would go to this particular uh, path. We would create uh, a folder called includes so that all our custom defined functions can be saved in this particular uh, folder and drag and drop this utilities file into this particular includes folder, right? So that whenever I uh, create different uh, notebooks, I would write all uh, the tables here, all the notebooks here, and I use this particular includes function, include uh, folder, I would say, includes folder and the utilities so that we can use the same thing again and again right so uh, this is my notebook so what i would do is so i would use this uh, utilities file which we have defined here right so i would use a command called percentage run dot slash includes uh, just to see our uh, folder name, this is includes, okay? And then within that includes, we have this file name called utilities, right? I'll just copy this so that we don't have any typos, errors, right? So I'll run this. So if you see here, this is a utility function which we have written as a markdown function or markdown line in this particular file, it means it is extracting the entire uh, files and functions, the variables from this particular utilities notebook to this particular notebook. So now we would see whether our function is really uh, making any sense, create table. What I would do is I would uh, create uh, the file path. So before we uh, 
pass on anything we need to give the file path file path is equals to so this is not the one so I'll, I'll grab it up from here from dbfs file store tables test and this file so I will copy this file path and I will paste it here right <coughs> this is my file path and I'll file you know pass this file path into this and if you could remember like we have returned spark data frame and pandas data frame so it returns two uh, variables called spark data frame spark df and pandas df is equals to this right i'll run this uh, cell just to see whether our spark data frame is actually created or not so you could see the spark data frame is created the pandas data frame is created and the spark sql table is created so what we have done is like we have just uh, created a custom function and we have saved this particular function in uh, utilities notebook and we have extracted this utilities function onto the other file by using this percentage run and giving the path of uh, the file right and then we have created our spark tables just to check it out whether it has really created or not instead of show i'll write as display I think uh, the name is wrong. Display, yeah, correct. So this is our uh, Spark data frame. We also have uh, Pandas data frame. We also have Spark SQL, right? 